my name is Wheat Williams, and I'm here at Summernam representing the Bob Moog Memorial Foundation, which is a nonprofit music education project started by Bob Moog's family after his death. Uh, we're here as the guests of Moog Music Incorporated, although we're not formally affiliated with them. Uh, you've already spoken uh, at a previous show with Michelle Moog Kusa, who's the director of the foundation and one of Bob's daughters. And I want to tell you about some of the things we've been doing since then. Our first task is to take all of Bob Moog's papers, recordings, photographs, and memorabilia, and research and development work he's been doing over the years and preserve those. And the next step is to get them out into the public in museum exhibits. And the other thing that we're working on is music education uh, projects with elementary school kids. So I'm happy to tell you that we got a small grant from the Grammy Foundation this year to begin the process of archiving all these reel-to-reel uh, -reel tapes and recordings that Bob Moog made going back to 1958. Uh, we've begun to have a couple of Bob Moog tribute concerts that we're sponsoring, and musicians from around the country are donating music to us. So we now have the Moogged Out Asheville concert CD, which you can buy on CD Baby. Just go to our MySpace page, myspace.com slash Moog Foundation, and there'll be uh, links to get to where you go. We've got a lot of interviews with a lot of uh, rock stars back from the 60s and 70s and 80s who worked with Bob Moog, and we've got those up on a new YouTube site. So what we're doing is we're taking all this wonderful stuff that Bob Moog did, and we're sharing it with the world. And we can use your contribution and your help, so please come to our website and read about what we do. Uh, also, the next thing that I've got coming up that I'm very excited about is I want to start a series of podcasts of original new electronic music of all different genres from all over the world. We have over 5,000 friends on our MySpace page, and almost all of those are musicians and bands. So we're going to put the word out that we want them to give us recordings that we can use in podcasts to not only promote the foundation, but also to promote new musicians making new electronic music, because that's what Bob would have wanted. Thanks.